Hey everybody, uh, there's nothing more aggravating than uh, having charging problems on your motorcycle. And if you ride a Yamaha, Suzuki, Honda, a Harley, whatever you ride, you're bound to run into this if you ride long enough where you're going to have uh, problems with your battery charging, problems with uh, your battery not starting, or your motorcycle, I should say, not starting problems with the voltage being too low so what we're going to do is i'm going to show you how to find out how to solve this issue once and for all it's happened to me a number of times on a number of bikes so um, i have some experience in learning how to solve this as quickly as possible so let's begin the first thing you want to do is get a, a multimeter these are very cheap at your hardware store i even saw some for like 10 bucks and when you get it you're going to turn the dial to 20 okay right here where it says 20. now on the multimeter you notice you have the the red and the black connectors here so these little let me show you these little steel points right here these little points you're going to put on the the red one you're going to put on the positive uh, part of your battery, the connector, and then the black one you're going to put on the negative. Now, if you have a battery tender, you know, a, a quick connect like this, then uh, you could also test it with this. So I'm not going to open up, you know, take the seat off and put these uh, on the post of the battery. I'm just going to put it through here. and. This one right here on the left is going to the negative part of the battery post. And this one on the right, the plastic side, is going to the positive. So, of course, we're going to put the negative one here. And then we're going to put the red one, uh, the positive one, over here. So, let's begin and I'll show you some stuff. Okay, so, you're going to notice the multimeter is at zero. We have the motorcycle off. Then we're going to turn the motorcycle on and show you the reading. But with the motorcycle off, I'm going to show you something. Watch, I'm putting this one on the black, that one with the red. So take a look at this reading. This is a very good reading, 1318, 1317, and it has not been on a battery tender. I haven't had to connect it to this right here. That's the standing charge. That's a very good uh, charge that's on the battery. So let's take those connectors out um, before when I was having charging problems it would be like 29 you know point whatever and um, I was always having to put it on the battery tender so I'm going to show you how to solve this issue where your motorcycle is not starting so you got to understand there's a stator which is right here and then there's the battery and then there's also what's called a rectifier and the stator produces so much uh, voltage for the battery that it's actually too much voltage so what the rectifier does is it monitors the you know the charging going into the battery so it doesn't blow up the battery or you know just mess up all your wiring harness and stuff and the rectifier regulates that some people call it a regulator that's also a good name for it so if you are doing this test and you're noticing that when you rev the motor on your motorcycle that it's just going up a little bit you know the volts are just going up a little bit try to replace your rectifier first because that was happening to me and I'm like, well, it can't be the stator because it, it, it's actually producing voltage. It's just not going up enough. So I strongly suggest you get an electrosport stator or electrosport rectifier. They have those for every brand of motorcycle out there practically. This is a Yamaha. But the electrosport stator, if it ends up being your stator, we'll talk about that in a moment, produces more output than even the OEM stator that comes with your motorcycle, especially for, this is a Yamaha R1. So the, you know, Electrosport stator actually produces more than the OEM stator. So that'll help alleviate the problem too. So 
notice we had a very good reading with the motorcycle off. So now we're going to turn it on and watch how um, the voltage goes up. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. Notice now it's at 418, 419, 419, 1420, I should say, 1420. And this is just at idling. So now watch what happens when we shut off the motorcycle. So uh, we just shut off the motorcycle. Notice it, it's 1350s around there, 1349. And if I let it sit, it'll go back up again, 1347. So here's the rule of thumb. You do not want the reading <clears throat> to be like, you know, 15 or over 15. Then that's a rectifier problem. Chances are it's the rectifier. Um, rect we're going to call it rectifier regulator. If the voltage, you know, you're revving the motor and the volts are, you know, the power is just not coming out on this multimeter, then it may be your stator, which is a more expensive fix. Now, an electro sport stator under 200 bucks, you can get them on eBay and um, go do your research. For example, on the Yamaha stator, it actually puts out more voltage, as I mentioned, than the OEM one, even the one that comes with your motorcycle. So uh, if you're having problems, it's either your battery, the rectifier or the stator. Let's talk about battery. So how do you know if it's your battery? Well, what you do is you want to get a battery tender and let me show you what that is. Okay, so this is a battery tender. And basically what it does is these ends over here, the, you plug in this uh, battery tender, you know, into your wall outlet or an extension cord. And then this matches up with this down here and you just plug it in and then it'll actually charge your battery all the way up. Now you shouldn't have to be putting it on a battery tender if you're riding your bike, you know, once a week, once every two weeks, once a month, you know, like that. But if you're finding that after you ride and you, you know, let's say you go out riding for an hour, 40 minutes and you come back and you're, the voltage on when you do the multimeter is going down, then you have a problem. So how do you know if it's the battery or the state or the rectifier? Well, one way is charge it up on, charge your battery up, you know, overnight, preferably on a battery tender. And you don't need one of these right here. Uh, most battery tenders will come with the like jumper cable type clamps. Um, but whatever way you charge up your battery, charge it up overnight. Then what you're going to do is go on your voltmeter, your multimeter here, I should say, put it on 20 and then look what it's reading. If your battery's like, like what mine was, like 13, you know, or higher, you got a good battery that it's most likely something else. But if your battery's just not holding a charge and it's, you know, below 13 and it's, you know, maybe, uh, you know, let's say 1290 or 1280, it's not just holding a charge, then, you know, it may be your battery. You know, so look into that. And not all batteries are the same. Some batteries are a lot better than others. So one thing you can do if you have a Yamaha, go to the Yamaha motorcycle forums. If you have a Kawasaki, go to the Kawasaki motorcycle forums and research on which batteries are the best. Because if you have a good battery and let's say an Electrosport stator and an Electrosport reg rectifier regulator, like I have an Electrosport rectifier in this and it really made a big difference um, i don't have an electro sport stator i have a ricks stator which is also good but um if something ever happened where the stator went out i would definitely get an electro sport one because again they put out more more outage on the um on the volts so what did we learn remember this if you want to find out the problem charge your bike up with the you know, battery tender, you can get these cheap at Walmart or on eBay. This is a good one here, Black & Decker. Um, it's been very reliable. You put it on 12 volts here. See how this thing slides left and right? And it'll blink right here. The light will blink. When the light is solid, you know your battery is charged all the way up. Go to your multimeter, check your battery without starting the motorcycle, and 
if it's in the 13th, let it sit there for like a day, you know, 24 hours, and then see if it's going down radically. If it's like down to like 12.90 or 12.80, 12.7, and then you know most likely your battery is the issue. But if the battery is good and it's, you know, the voltage is staying there, the battery is staying powered, start up your motorcycle and if you rev the motor and the volts are going up on the multimeter, but they're not going up that high, but they are going up when you're revving it, then uh, I would look into your rectifier. Rectifier is not that expensive. An expensive one uh, is like 80 bucks. They're pretty cheap. Look on eBay, get an Electro Sport rectifier. They're very good. But if that doesn't work, then most likely it's your stator and that's more of an expensive fix. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and click below this video for more motorcycle videos and reviews.